Hello, my name is David Butts, and I will be talking about my internship I did this fall at Public Supermarket. Um, I worked at Public Supermarket this fall, and I go to Florida Southern College, and I'll be graduating this next semester, so it's coming up fast, and I'm getting ready to go to the working world. And I have played baseball since I was six years old, and I am grateful to still be playing for Florida Southern. I've been blessed, and I've learned a lot of life lessons from this. When I first arrived at Florida Southern College, I was actually on the junior varsity team, and I worked hard and believed in my own success to make it onto the varsity team my sophomore year. And I bring this up just to show that I am a hard worker and I'm willing to go above and beyond at whatever it is someone wants me to. And I chose Publix because it's a great company and it's been around in Lakeland forever. And it started in Winter Haven, which is just 30 minutes away. And the Publix has given back so much to the community and it's given so much to Florida Southern. So it was a good option. <clears throat> and Publix has been, it started in 1930 by George Jenkins, and you've seen his name around all over campus, I'm sure. And then this company is now has 1,350 stores located in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and Kentucky. So it is a thriving company and it's still growing and it will continue to grow for a while. And then my main, my, most of my activities were usually in the store, but sometimes I would go outside to get carts. My main responsibility and the most important one was to make the customers feel welcome because that's what Publix is all about. Just making the customer feel welcome and have the best customer service possible. And then another responsibility that Publix thrives on is just being clean, which is because I don't like going to a grocery store either when it's all dirty like Walmart. And then what I learned Actually, no, sorry. Another activity I had to do was I would train some of the new hires, and that was fun for me because I could practice my hands-on managing, and I would like I would get to tell them what they did wrong, what they did right, and it was a fun experience for that. And then a cool thing I learned is that just to always be kind to people because you don't know what they've had going on lately, because sometimes you get to mean customers and, you know, you, you kind of want to be mean back, but you can't. And those mean customers are the ones that probably need the most kindness realistically. And then another important thing is that I learned is how important customer service is. Because I had multiple people that were from up north that have never been to Publix. And they thought it was amazing how the customer service was and they would love to shop at Publix again. And then my favorite experience I had was when I shadowed one of the managers. It was the customer service manager. So I was still in my area. I wasn't like over with the deli or anything. And I learned a lot from that experience just because it really shows like how well your relations need to be with the with your subordinates or else you won't be able to get them to perform how you would like or the company. And you can do this by just being friendly to them, obviously not too friendly or else, cause you don't want to be friends with them because then they might not listen to you and mess around. And then you also got to be friendly to everyone else around you. You can't just be friendly to like your department because one day you might need somebody from a different department to help your department because you're short staffed that day. And you also don't want to micromanage the, your subordinates because nobody likes being micromanaged and you perform better whenever you're 
kind of your manager lets you do what you want to do. Not too much. Sometimes you need to, sometimes the manager had to keep people in line. Like with one front service clerk, he wasn't offering to help customers with their carts on the way out. So we just had to remind them to do that. And that's it for this presentation. And thank you for listening.